This video is sponsored by Dotspace. Dotspace is an online domain registration company for anyone who is creative. You can check out my Dotspace domain at willpatterson.space. Go check the links down in the description below to get a huge discount on getting your own Dotspace domain. Over the past couple of months, you guys have been loving some of my tutorials, so I'm gonna be doing them every now and then. Now, this is a tutorial that I think you guys will like. Can you see this text effect that I've got going on here? Well, I've been working with a client on the heating solution company, and basically, um, this is one of the logo design concept processes that I've been going through, uh, yet to be finished, but I just wanted to show you some of the text effects you can have. Obviously, this is not what I'm gonna have with the logo. This is just an example of the text effect with the border around it with a cut out with the strokes and stuff like that so I'm going to show you how I do it so I'm just going to first off delete this and I'm going to grab this logo from this part here and I'm going to bring it into my illustrator and just align it up just like so okay the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make this into a compound shape and that is because I want illustrator to think this is just one continuous path for this process you can see up here that it's actually a group just now but if I press command 8 you can see it turns into a compound path which is exactly what we want if you want to know what your shape is then you can go on to here on the object type up here and it will show you exactly what it is the next thing I'm going to do is go to object then go down to path I'm going to offset this path you'll get this little dialogue box just here now the first thing I want to do is press preview to see what it's like and as you can see all it does is it brings out the shape a bit more it offsets it so what we're going to do is we're going to set this to 20 you can set it to whatever you like i would suggest using 10 20 30 and those sort of numbers and the joins i don't mind if they're rounded or the mitre levels or whatever it doesn't really bother me i just keep this at four and then i'm going to press ok now as you can see that this looks like an absolute mess now but that's exactly what we want if we just click off there and go back to our first shape click on it make sure it's still a compound path we're going to repeat the process so make sure you're on the actual first shape by clicking on it go back up to object down to path offset path and we're going to preview it again but this time we're going to choose 10 so it's going to be half of what we chose last time and we're going to press ok and as you can see we've created another shape on the inside so we've got three shapes now what we want to do is we want to get this shape to cut away from the first shape that we made so selecting onto this shape we're going to shift click and select onto the shape behind it and then we're going to go to pathfinder mine is over here but if you can't find yours go to window go down to pathfinder or press shift command f9 or control on the pc so click on the first shape here the second one and then go to this second one in which is minus front and as you can see it is deleted that shape now we've got these weird bits inside here so we can delete them by pressing Q or going to our lasso tool and actually just selecting them and deleting them with the backspace key so I'm just going to go through some of these select them the lasso tool is really good for selecting little bits like this it's easier with the tablet to do but there you go and it makes it easier than a direct selection tool as well so i'm just going to go through all of these little bits here get rid of them now there's the black and white version of the actual logo design with the effect on it but we want to create a better effect with this and we can do this by changing the color and the strokes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the inside color to this nice red and i'm going to choose a stroke of black and then i'm just going to do the same for this but instead of choosing that red I'm going to choose a darker red which is over here um, and I'm going to make sure it's on my stroke and then I'm going to press X to switch to my actual stroke option and then I'm going to highlight them both and I'm going to up this stroke a tiny bit to wherever I think is best now as you can see I've changed the color on the stroke of it on this sort of back shape here behind it because I want it to have some definition when it's further out. Um, it may not look very good when it's zoomed right out, so you can change both of these shapes back to just the red if you wanted to, uh, but I prefer it with the dark red on the background. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. You can do this with any shape. It makes your cursive type look really cool and retro. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure guys, you also check out the links for my online workshop that is happening in a few weeks time. You'll be able to learn all the things to do with my business and graphic design, and logo design and stuff like that. And you'll get the content forever, but you'll also be able to see me live at work. So make sure you go and check that out. The links in the description below. If you want $30 off, go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.